Good morning students. Today we are going to do the poem A River by A.K. Ramanujan. This poem was published in the year 1966 in a volume called The Strides by A.K. Ramanujan. So let us come uh, first go through the text. In Madurai, city of temples and poets, who sang of cities and temples every summer a river dries to a trickle in the sand barring the sand rims straws and women hair clogging the water gates at the rusty bars under the bridges with patches of repair all over them the wet stones glistening like sleepy crocodiles the dry ones shaven water buffaloes lounging in the sun the poet only sang of the flood he was there for a day when they had the floods people everywhere talked of the inches rising of the precise number of cobbled steps run over by the water rising on the bathing places and the way it carried off three village houses one pregnant woman and a couple of cows named gopi and brinda as usual the new poets still quoted the old words but no one spoke spoke in verse of the pregnant woman that round with perhaps fins in her kicking at blank walls e- even before birth he said the river has water enough to be poetic about only once a year and then it carries away in the first half hour three village houses a couple of cows named gopi and brinda one pregnant woman expecting identical twins with no moles on their bodies with different colored diapers to tell them apart so students as we have just gone through the text we come to know about the city and the river the city that has been named in uh, the this poem is madurai and the river is vakai about which the poet is talking in the in this poem so this city of madurai students it's a very ancient and holy city of south india and it is the seat of tamil culture in the beginning the poet gives us a realistic picture of the city and its river banks the poem shows us that ramanujan is a realist realistic poet he doesn't like the shallow romantic sentiments which makes one escape from reality in the river in the poem entitled river ak ramanujan dislikes those poets both old and new who always write about cities and temples instead of the real human beings their sufferings their traumas they do not delineate these realistic things real happenings in their poem but they are just portraying only the beautiful aspects of life so ramanujan doesn't like this aspect of these old and new poets so they do not these old and new poets they have never portrayed the havoc that is caused around by the flooded river the old poets they carried on with the romantic tradition and regretfully the new poets imitate them ek ramanujan remembers the city of madurai and 
he sees the river Vaikai, which flows through the city. And he says, the river has water enough to be poetic only once a year and then carries away in first half hour three village houses. And he gives a realistic detail of the havoc caused by the river Waikai. He says, what does the flood take away? It takes away a couple of cows named Gopi and Brinda and one pregnant woman expecting identical twins with no moles on their bodies with different colored diapers and tell them apart. And he complains that these uh, poets they seldom portrayed the real things of the life, the sufferings of the com common man. No, he says, no one spoke in words about drowning of the pregnant woman and the havoc caused by the floods. During the river and during the summer, the river remains dry and has water only during a brief period once in a year. Its dryness does not attract any poet. The poet himself has portrayed the picture of the dry river and he says one can easily see the sand ribs and straw in women's hair clogging the water gates at the rusty bars under the bridges with patches of repair all over them. He has also given uh, some very beautiful images like that of shining wet stones lying on the river bed and he compares them with sleepy crocodiles and these images uh, gets our attention at once they build up a familiar view and through these images he reinforces the fact that river even in its dryness is an appropriate poetic subject and can evoke poetic feelings but ironically the poets whether they be older poets or the new poets they sing only of the floods so these lines are a comment on those poets who evade reality and escape into a make-believe world ignoring human sufferings. The poem is a significant in this sense that it reveals Ramanujan's concern for human suffering. He has tried to raise this point through the poem that poets whether they are old or the new generation poet they should talk about the human plight sufferings the unhappy events of life should get a place in the poems of the poets so that the poetry may appear realistic As in other poems, memory plays an important role in this poem as well. However, this poem, in this poem, memory is not merely a subjective memory. Through this poem, poet recalls his personal experiences, he relates the personal past to the historical and cultural past. In an attempt to show the continuity, he also shows differences between the literary past and present, romances and realism, fact and vision. So students, 
this much for today's class we will continue in our next class thank you very much